A lot of people have been asking at my new animation style. And how to do it? Well, you've come to the right place, lol. This tutorial includes 0 0.5, how to save your artwork easier, 0, 56. 1, how pivot points work, 1.51. 2, how keyframes and graphs work, 2.23. 3, how to shade animation, 548. 5, how to loop your tween, 615. Make sure to draw everything on a separate layer. Now click your first layer. Next click the three dots beside the layers on the toolbar. This menu will pop up and have a bunch of settings. Click the bottom one that says save layer as transparent PNG. Do that to all the other layers. Open a light motion, the app we will be using today. Now copy my settings. Resolution, shutter 2160p for 4K frame rate, shutter 60 FPS and ratio is 1.1. Now create your project. Immediately you will be greeted with this. It looks challenging, but it's not trust me. To add your character, click media. Select your character in this order. Body, head, eyes, face, neck, accessories, optional. Head accessories, optional. Here's how to zoom in. Hold down on the bottom layer until it turns green, then drag upwards. Then zoom in with two fingers like this. Now for pivot points, double click the bar graph. This is extra. Drag the pivot point to the part you are selecting, then connect it to the part under it. The face pivot points goes in the middle of the face. Neck accessory goes to the neck, middle of the accessory. Hide the layer above the head if you have a neck accessory and connect the pivot point to the neck. Click here to hide the layer, then connect here. Next, click the body layer and connect the pivot point it to the head. Hide the head if needed. Part two, keyframes and graphs. Click the button that we clicked for the pivot point and it will get bigger. Click this once at the beginning and once at the end. Then move the body part down. Click the graph symbol. Then click here and drag till four bumps appear. Now click the yellow dot and drag left. Looks like this. Now go to the face and click here. Now connect the face layer to the head layer. Now connect like this head body neck accessories, body head accessories, head face head. Now it will look like this. You could leave it like that and be boring, but here's some extra steps. Do the same thing you did to the head to the face. To do the same graph, paste your other curve from your head layer. Now it looks like this. If it's too aggressive for you, you can move the face layer up at the last keyframe and it will be less aggressive. Do the same for the bow layer, just like how I did this. Now paste the curve like before. Do the same thing with the neck accessory, but with the rotate button. Keyframe at the beginning, negative three. Keyframe at the ending, three. Now for the graphs, do the same thing as the first graph, but with only two bumps. Now do the same thing to the head with the rotate setting. Same keyframe angles. Paste like this. And it should look like this. Now go to the shape button on the side and click the square option. Zoom it in and click color and fill. Click the gradient button. Then click the circle gradienter. Drag it to the middle and swap the color sides from black to white to white to black like shown here. Lower the opacity of the layer and line the white part up with the head. Then put the opacity BKC up and click Effects. When you are in Effects, click the magnifying glass icon and search Displacement Map. Click the first one and press Standard Settings. Click the Y axis and then add keyframes. Do the same thing you did with the head four bumps.
Now duplicate the square and put it above the body layer. Drag the square down to the bust area and do the same you did with lining up the head. Do the same to the bow and scarf. Adjust all the squares like this. Nearly done, Jason. Do the bow. Now hold down on the bottom layer and press UO. I ended up messing around more with the displacement map setting, and that's honestly how you leer. I used the x axis for this part. Part 3 Shading and Details. For shading, duplicate the group by pressing the Add Layer button. Now color fill the added layer and drag it to the side. Click Blending and Opacity and click the Darken group, then click Multiply and adjust Opacity. Now duplicate one more time and color fill the bottom layer red or pink, or whatever color locks best for you. Results. Ignore the glitch I haven't figured out how to remove it. Now group all those layers, click the Setting button right next to Export and go to Retiming, then click loop. And there you go. Ask me any questions.